What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another video. So today, we're going to be getting into some mess concerning uh, baby, pretty much Zeus after dark, baby. What goes on behind closed doors, allegedly, with, with the Zeus network, baby, you know, it's it, it gets real, it gets real dirty over there okay allegedly so not only are we going to be getting into some more tea on lamidia not chlamydia but lamidia okay like y'all you, you, know his name by now baby it, it, it ain't it ain't no, nothing else over here baby lamidia all right yeah um so not only are we going to be getting into some tea on him because you know he can't keep it in his pants allegedly chow all right Okay, and we're also going to speak on Janisha's role because I feel like not really enough people talk about it. I, you know, I see people down in the comments, all up and down the comment section talking about some, where did Janisha be at? Where is she at? Does she know this and the third? Baby, if y'all pay attention, I feel like her role in all of this has slowly but surely been coming out and I feel like nobody has really been speaking on it. So we are going to talk about it, baby. Okay, we're going to talk about it. I promise you. <laughs> But yeah, so I think that's all we're going to do this video and it's going to be lit. You already know we're lit over here. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Ma. We are lit over here. Trust and believe that. And yeah, let's get into the mess. So girl, every single time I turn my head, there is more mess. Like I really can't escape it. You can't escape it. We can't escape it, baby. It's just in our face every single day. Girl, Lydia. Okay, you. I, I'm gonna need you to to. If you gonna first of all, it's already unprofessional that you do what you do. But if you gonna do what you do, can you at least try to keep it under wrap? Like it, it's it just seems like you be all up in your cast members' faces with it. Okay, like you need to you need to get more hoes like Scotty. Okay, because Scotty is your side hoe, but she don't be she don't be running her mouth. Okay, the way that everybody else do. Okay, everybody else run their mouth. You, 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 you need to learn, you need to learn if you go at least do this stuff that's not ethical and that's very unpro unprofessional on your part as a CEO of a multi-million dollar company, baby, I'm gonna need you to do a little better because we should not be knowing your business like this at all, sir. All right. So child, more people are coming out and speaking up against him. Bad and Bougie from One More Chance, season two. Girl, she had a lot to say in a recent interview when she sat down with No Jumper and basically spoke on, you know, Lamidia. Let's go ahead and get into what she had to say. Oh, take your show to Zeus, to Lemmy. Heck no. Why not? Mean? Oh, yeah, we... Heck wait, wait, hold on, no. hold on, hold on. I don't f*** that nigga. Why not? Wait, wait. You, you, you worked like, with him he's before? He's like the black Harry Weinstein. We're going we, we gonna, we, we gonna, we gonna to talk about oh, that. Wait, 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 well, uh, we might as well bring that up, too. Wait, no, sure. wait. Let me ask my partner. What you mean? Uh -uh. He does great business. Listen, he does great business, but he also does shady business, okay? Like he what? promises <laughs> people things in exchange for cer certain things. Weinstein is a high bar. Wait, wait, hold on, bro. Wait, yeah. we, ain't, we ain't comparing... Let me yeah. no wine. I'm just yeah. saying that's a lot. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yeah. What do you, you really? You, wait, yeah. wait. The lady I'm, I'm sorry. know. I'm a boss. You can't promises talk to me you. He tells you, I'll pay you this, and then it depend on the situation. Absolutely. He might give you a bonus. Absolutely. Everybody, I'm gonna tell you, everybody. I know a lot of things. What you talking about? I know though? a lot of things. But why would you shoot Zeus down like that? Excuse me. Because I don't give a fuck. That's a successful black man's platform. A, a, it is a successful black man's platform, but you shouldn't use your platform to open up other platforms. It don't go so. What's other platform? Uh, what is she trying to say? She's trying you know to say exactly. he was trying to treat his dick like a platform. Exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Let me uh, marry. They got a beautiful I'm married wife. now. Listen, my husband know everything. There is nothing that was in the dark that he don't know about. Wait, so you were on, on a show on Zeus? Before? Absolutely, yeah. What show? One more chance. Oh, the chance, the chance uh -huh. guy. What, what was? Oh, it was, it's like a dating show with some it guy was a named dating Chance. Show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what, what makes him so special? Who the fuck is this guy? Chance uh, was, was from. Show. Um, oh, okay. what, what was Chance? It was just a show. What from the fuck? Um, what VH1, right? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, Flavor Flav. Oh, hold on, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. So you you saying he approached you inappropriately? Absolutely. Let I, me. Absolutely. I went to go have nah. a business meeting, and uh -huh. our business meeting. 
ended up, he's like, can you meet me at my house instead of the office? What well, he might have just wanted to meet you at the house. No, sweetie. Maybe wanted to Are show you, you basing it off that? No, sweetie. That No, definitely not just Maybe that. Maybe he was running start. late. <laughs> not just off that. His wife was going to be home. Listen, the wife was involved too. Involved in what? We'll talk about that later. Cut no, the check. We, you, you have to we, cut the check for no, this conversation. No, we this, might as well talk about it right now because it's no, like no. Shit, you can bring up uh-uh. uh, my ex's shit. Uh-uh. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Let me show ex. I, we had a situation ship. Oh, Craig. Y'all you, dated? You got no, we didn't date. Oh, we had a no, situation wait, wait. ship. See, this is getting weird because she's telling me <laughs> he was uh, inappropriate. Yeah. And now nephew telling me. Yeah. That was your ex. He was he wasn't my ex. Let's 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 keep it clear. I, I fuck with him too, but for, I, 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 no hey, I would yes, be wrong if I didn't honey, mention that. I don't that, play huh? that. I don't play hey, that. I would Maybe be wrong if I didn't wife. mention that. St- Every time he had to see me, he had to cut a Excuse check. Me. I don't play. I would be wrong if I didn't what, mention what? that Stunner Girl said something quite similar when Absolutely. she was here from, just from the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ain't lying. I gotta acknowledge the consistency of. He ain't lying. I don't know. Nah, but then again, wait, wait, wait. If you say in your had a situation ship, it was a situation. And then you're saying his wife was involved. It was a situation. I don't see him doing anything wrong because if all parties, it was are, a situation. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because let me tell you something. How's he doing? I rather, something wrong? I rather do something with somebody that's going to give me an opportunity than not. But I would, I would have rather not have to. Let's just say that. See, you okay? can't do that. I, yes, I because can. Because you could have just said no. This, this bi- and then I would not have the opportunity. Listen, this business is very dirty. Did he tell you that? Did he Absolutely. say? He said, Absolutely. if you don't do this, you're not going to get the opportunity. Absolutely. Yes. I don't, I don't O'Neal told me. I don't believe that. Shani O'Neal told me but the no, same thing. But for Shani real, told- this entire clip, I don't care what y'all say, this entire clip, okay, just gave me the certain urge to go gay. Full blown. Okay, because sometimes I really cannot stand men. Because my thing is, if you don't believe her, if Lemmy is your quote unquote partner, if he your partner, if he your partner, if he your friend, this, that, and the third, if y'all do great business together, this, that, and the third, you shouldn't even be entertaining this conversation. Get up and leave or be quiet. Okay, but you're entertaining this conversation. If you don't believe her because this, that, and the third, you know him, you can't see him doing no ish like that, baby, I'm going to need you to get up and go. Get up and go or don't entertain this conversation. But you're the main one, whack 100. Steady asking this girl questions like a hoe trying to gossip. Steady asking her questions to get her to say certain stuff. And then when she spills some tea, you're like, oh, I don't believe you. Trying to contradict every single thing that she say. Boy, if, if you don't believe her, then just be quiet. Sit your big back over there and stop talking to her. Okay, stop entertaining this conversation. All right, because if I mess with somebody and somebody's throwing wild allegations out like that, me personally, I'm probably going to get up and leave and ask the person myself. But I'm not going to sit there and ask a bunch of questions. And then every single time they answer my question, I contradict them and I try to make them feel little and I interrupt them and I talk over them. Girl, I, I, whack 100, baby. And, and you know, I'm, I, I know you're a dear friend of Blueface. What, isn't that Blueface's manager? I'm going to need you to be quiet. Because it's honestly, don't it? and I honestly hope you you ain't got no daughters. I hope you ain't got no daughters. Baby, I hope that you are not associated with any women because uh, God forbid a woman comes to you with something and you, you just, ill, yuck. A woman is literally sitting here saying that she got taken advantage of and, and you're sitting here basically saying, F you. No, you didn't. He wouldn't do nothing like that. It was consensual. You, 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 you no ma'am, be quiet. Okay. Yuck. I feel like a lot of people will feel like Sharice Mills, aka Bad and Bougie, is definitely contradicting herself because in one second, I mean, in one sentence, she is like, well, it's a situation ship. But then in the next sentence, she will be like, well, you know, it was still inappropriate, still didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like some people may feel like she is contradicting herself. But me personally, I understood what she was saying. Okay. She said verbatim, I, you, you know, and and, it's, and and I'm not saying that she's innocent either because at the end of the day, you chose to do that to get where you are now. You chose to do that so you could be able to get on the show. I understand that part, but I still understand where she's coming from. She said verbatim, I wish I wouldn't have had to do that to get on the show. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, why not bring me on the show? Because I'm a talent. Because I'm personality. Because I add something different to the show. Me, personally, I always thought that her vibe to the show was like something that nobody brought to the show before. She was grown. She was grown. She was a lot older than most of the girls. She was grown. She was mature. You know what I'm saying? She had her ish together. A little annoying at times, but you know what I'm saying? She brought a different vibe to the show. So it's like, why not use me and cast me for what I could potentially bring to the show, <clears throat> which is a different vibe. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with dating shows or just reality shows in general, you need multiple personalities. Why not bring her on for her personality for what she could provide to the show? No. You wanted to bring her on. Okay. Okay. Let, let's let's really get into it. You wanted to bring her on for your own personal selfish reasons. So she's saying, okay, and I don't understand what's so hard to get about it. <clears throat> Y'all let me know. But what she was saying was, yeah, I did what I had to do to get in that position, to get on that show, to get on that platform. But I would have rather not had to do that. I would have rather him use me for my talent, for him to use me and to put me on the show based off of what I can bring to the show, not based off of what I can do in bed. Okay. So yeah, she, she, she's not, I, I feel like she really didn't say that she was innocent. She didn't. I feel like she did not say that she was innocent. She said, <laughs> you know, I did what I had to do, but I would have rather not did it. It's not that hard to understand. Which I still feel like is kind of sad. Like, no, she's not innocent. Yes, she still had a choice. She still had the choice to be like, no, I'm not doing that. You know, I will find another way. Like, you know, another opportunity will come my way without me having to basically, you know, bust that little kitty cat open to uh for that spot. You know what I'm saying? She, she could have did that. Nobody's saying that she's innocent. But it's still sad that she was even put in the position to do that. And no, I don't like for for Wack 100 to even be like, "Oh well, you're 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 diminishing a black man's no ma'am. No ma'am." Okay? No, he's diminishing his own platform by doing that stuff behind closed doors because he could really just be a real businessman, okay? And get his coin and put girls on the show without them having to bust that little kitty cat open for for, for them to get on the show. All right, and and I'm really well. I already believed it, but it's it's like a pattern with it. Everybody cannot be lying, and not only that, but baby, it seemed like it seemed like Mr. Lemmy. It seemed like he has a type. Okay, it seemed like he got a type. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Like he's literally a creep. Like I really don't know what else to say about that. Like in terms of that, like he is a creep who basically takes advantage of his authority you know what i'm saying and he weaponizes it for sure like that allegedly you know what i'm saying like that that's just what he gives he gives me like the nerd or the loser not that nerd and loser go hand in hand but he reminds me of like a loser in high school that didn't get no cat okay but now he grew up he got money so this is like oh he gonna baby he gonna get cat by any means necessary baby okay it, even even if it means using a show against you to get it, child, with this, which is not ethical. So y'all can say what y'all want. <laughs> you can say what you want. This, it's not ethical. It's not ethical, nor is it legal, baby. So while Mr. Lemon Pepper Stepper is doing his dirt, a lot of people really do wonder, where do Janisha be? Like, girl, do you be doing a fuck in a second too? Or do you be like, you know what I'm saying? Like in the other room, counting your money, not really giving a damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, where you be at, child? You were on live and fans were asking you, okay, they were asking you, being messy, of course, they were asking you about Lemmy and Scotty, okay, and you told them to keep it cute. Wait a few more seconds for some more folks to enter their chat. Um, how y'all feeling on this Thursday for real though? Oh, thank you. I love my hair too. It look a little cute, right? <laughs> hey, only one rich hustle. <laughs> y'all keep it cute in these comments today, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, but yes, welcome, welcome to our Stunner Girl said, because Lemmy took your family basically from the islands, okay? Not to speak on nobody's family, but you know, at this point, it's public knowledge, allegedly. It's still alleged, but it's public knowledge at this point, baby. Okay, Stunner Girl said that because he took your family from the islands, they all live up under his roof, okay? And, and, and he did the same with you. 
that you really don't have a say in what he does. He can do whatever he wants. House. I pay all the bills. I take care of her and her family. I took her family from the island. So it's like I guess she I guess she up in the house packed up like sardines in that bitch or some. That's the only reason why she don't be saying nothing. But then I can't really say that though. Because one time I don't it's like how you don't know they f***ing? And I remember she they said that she ran up in the car on Scotty and was like, You be f my n like I know yo I don't even want to talk about her because she's so sweet. But it's like, I know your antennas ain't off like that. Like, this man be partying. I mean, he be with y'all all day. Like, y'all is a threesome. But I mean, I shit, I guess she in it for the check. She, she the one that's winning. The got her names on the motherfucking shows. And she's signing off the checks and taking care of her family man. He got the uh, family man package deal. The granddad deal. Family man. Family guy. You know. So she the one with she she got the family guy deal, you know what I'm saying? But it's like she better have some whoops on the side too, bitch. <laughs> Everybody call her free JD shit. <laughs> now, according to Stunner Girl and both Stunner Girl and Bad and Bougie, between the two of them, it really seems like she's either in on it or she definitely knows. There's no way that you don't know at this point, girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, girl? Cause uh, cause Ed, the, the whole world knows that your man gets down. Okay, allegedly. The whole the baby, we, we know. All right, so I know you know. There ain't no way that you don't know at this point, child. Okay, so that leaves a couple options. It's either, like I said, girl, you know what I'm saying? You in a room, you count your money, you really don't care because you and your family, like Stunner Girl it said, is getting taken care of. So it's like, you don't have a say anyway, but it's like, you know, he rich and you getting money. You know what I'm saying? Girl, your name is on all of the shows. So you're, girl, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You're getting, either way you're winning. I mean, child, are you really winning though? I don't want to say winning because I do not encourage what they got going on. But either way it goes, you're you're put in a you're put in a high status position. You're considered one of the executives over there. You know what I'm saying, girl? You got a permanent hosting job. <laughs> Even though we all know you can't host. You know what I'm saying? You got a permanent hosting job no matter how much the fans uh oppose to you hosting. Okay. All your you, you you all your names are signed off on all of the shows with Zeus. You know how I say so. So we know you getting that money, okay? So it, it's like it's it's like you know the arrangement. It's like you know, so it, it's 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 good for you. You really don't care what he do, or is that the case? And you know, you <laughs> child, it's crazy <clears throat> because according to Stunner Girl and Bad and Bougie Baby. Uh, you, you, you be doing the do too. You know what I'm saying? Girl. Okay. Janisha is very beautiful. She is very well-spoken and she seems nice. She seems educated. She seems like a smart, <laughs> she seems like a smart lady. So it's just like, child, she know what she doing, girl. I, 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 child, I don't know at this point, girl. It, it's just a lot. But a lot of people be wondering, like, what is Janisha's role in all of this? Like, do she play the background? Do she be in the front line with him? So I just wanted to shed some light on what a couple cast members, former cast members, had to say about Janisha's role in all of this. Okay? Child, it is a mess. And let me, and let me, Miss Girl, you got to type. Okay, because I, I I didn't realize it at first, but I'm starting to realize everybody that's starting to speak out against you, uh -huh, uh -huh, you know what I'm saying, and all of the alleged, um, uh, what do I want to call it, uh, affairs, uh, whatever you want to call it, baby, is, is with the same type of woman, okay? That is all I have for y'all today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you know every single time I post a new video. Thank y'all so much for making it to the end. It's Messy Maya. It's the Messy Mob. Girl, I'm out. <laughs> Bye.